In this video, we are going to talk about an extension discussion of the Tarsalis theorem that we have done in the previous video. Let me tell you what we have done in the previous video once. This is what we have done. We have considered a vessel that filled with some liquid, some fluid. It has a small opening at a height h from the top, as it is an opening, the fluid leaks out from there with a velocity and we found that velocity is root 2gh. That we are taking from the previous video. Let us continue now. From this, the fluid comes out and because of the gravity, it takes a parabolic path and strikes the floor somewhere. From the base of the fluid, where the small fluid strikes the ground has a certain distance that is called the range of the fluid. We would like to calculate what is that range is. So, as we have assumed the total height as capital H from this reference point, from this base, the height of the opening will be automatically, as this is treated as small h, this height will be automatically h minus h. So, the liquid drop is leaking out from a height h minus h from the ground and it takes, it's as if like a freely falling body, it takes some time to reach the ground. So, for the released drop, I can use a formula like s equal to ut plus half at square. The s yes, that it is falling is h minus h. That's the vertical height that we have taken into account. Be careful that this velocity that what we have found here is a horizontal velocity. There is no velocity actually in this direction. In the vertical direction, velocity is 0. So, 0 into t. It's falling down. So, acceler acceleration is nothing but acceleration due to gravity. So, h minus h is a half g t square. So, 2 into h minus h divided by g is a t square. So, time taken by that draw to reach the floor is square root of h minus h pi g. So, this is this time we have calculated. Now, we know the velocity. We have already proved velocity of f flux as root 2 j h. We also know the time. I can calculate this range. Range is nothing but horizontal distance. Simple formula for the distance equal to velocity into time. We know velocity, we know time. They substitute both of them. Yeah, let's do that. So the range is v into t. v is root 2 g h. t is, as we have found, this value. So this g and this g can be cancelled. There is a 2 and 2 in the square root. 1, 2 will come out. The remaining is under the square root itself. H of H minus H. This is the, the range of the draw that came out with the velocity of a flux. It strikes the ground. So what we have found is actually this distance, this range. Now we want to continue this discussion further. We would like to know what is the maximum value of that range is, right? So, our aim is next to find out. Maximum range of that water drop that comes out of that small opening as velocity of a flux, right? So, let me call range R as 2 under square root small h into capital H. I am just taking this into inside. Small h and h is h square, right? Let us square this r square equal to 4, root will go 
h square. So how much is this volume? R square is 4 small h capital H minus 4 h square. For this range to be maximum, you know, as per the differentiation, dr by dh, for any function to be maximum, its differentiation has to be equal to 0. So let us differentiate this equation, this equation, yeah, with respect to h. So differentiating equation number 1 with respect to small h. Here small h is a variable. So we want to calculate where shall I leave that small opening along the vertical side of that uh, tub system so that the water comes out goes to a maximum range. Yeah, differentiate this r. Differentiation of x square kind of a formula. Differentiation of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 that is 2 into dr by dh. 2 minus 1 is 2 itself. Let us differentiate this. 4 capital H because differentiating with respect to small h minus 4 differentiation of h square is 2h. So dr by dh, take this to the other side, it will become divide the entire right hand side with 2, that will become 4h itself. As I said, for the range to become maximum, this dr by dh has to be equal to 0. That implies 2 capital H minus 4H equal to 0. That implies 2H equal to 4H. That implies small h equal to capital H by 2. So that's a lesson that we all learned. What is that lesson? Let's look at the diagrams. You have to keep this opening at H by 2 as I have found. That means for range maximum that small opening has to be at, at the middle of the total height. So if the total height is h, just exactly punch it at the middle of that height so that as we have proved, that range will be maximum. And how much is that maximum range is if you are willing to calculate that value? Yes, you know the equation. What is that equation is? Range r is equal to 2 into small this value. Yeah, this value small h into capital H minus small h for range maximum. Substitute small h equal to capital H by 2. What happens then if you do that? Yeah, let's do that. What happens then? Range maximum is equal to 2. In the place of small h, write capital H by 2. That we have proved just now. H minus in the place of again H by 2. So 2 into H by 2. H minus H by 2 is another H by 2. So 2, both are there. So the value will become H by 2. So that is H itself. So the surprising fact is, if you draw the diagram, if this is filled with a liquid up to a height h, you punch a hole exactly at the half of the height, it will go to the range maximum, to the maximum height itself. That's what's the understanding of that. Thank you for watching.